Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a great week. So it's been a little while um, since I've came and done an update or shown you all any projects or crafts that I may have been working on. Um, a lot has been going on and so I'm trying to handle life and handle, you know, things that I have to do on a daily basis. But um, I have some free time and so basically um, my daughter, she has two appointments today. We've already went to one, so I'm at the second facility now and we've had a lot of time to kill. Um, so I decided to start working on this little bumblebee here. Um, I did this with no pattern, so it's basically free-handed all the way through. And um, even down to the wings, I did some embroidery, I guess, for the eyes and the mouth there. So this um, will go on to, I don't know if you all remember, but I did a Bumblebee inspired baby blanket last year. Um, I, you know, as far as the size goes, it is finished. I did start sewing on, um, I think I have maybe one. I think I have maybe one bumblebee actually sewn onto the blanket. And I have another bumblebee that was made, but I never sewn it on. So um, that's why I never showed that blanket anymore after that because it's not really completed as far as having all of the appliques, the bumblebee appliques sewn on. So my plan is to maybe tonight or through the weekend, um, at some point, I will get that blanket completed. So, um, yeah, so I have the bumblebee that I already have at home. And then this one, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make another one one like this I might um, I just need to make sure like my placement uh, where I want to place these is not going to be too much you know for the blanket and I'm not even sure if I'm going to actually use the bumblebee that I had originally made and that you know was waiting to be sewn on I might just use this one and call it a day so uh, right now this is just going to be the last one that I make for now um, until I actually have the blanket back in my hands and kind of figure out where I want to what I want to do but I just wanted to come and show you all um, so the black and the red not the black and the red but the black and the yellow is red heart super saver the white yarn is also red heart super saver um, and I just kind of went through, I don't have a lot of black yarn, but luckily, um, I was able to actually find like some scraps. Um, I have a ball of black. Yeah. So I was able to find this this morning and I actually, um, plan to maybe next week. I'll go to the store and I'll see if I can just get me two two or three skeins of black yarn just to have on hand. Um, because like I said, I've never, I don't really have a lot of black. And I never really, like, store a lot of black yarn in my stash. Um, but it's always good to have on hand just in case. So, um, yeah. So we still have a little bit of time um, before we actually go in, have the AC on. The weather has been pretty good this morning. Um, it's just now like starting to warm up. Um, my car is reading 77, but it's been like in the 60s 
all morning. So, um, like low 60s. And it's been perfect. Um, so, I'll probably be in here for another 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll probably go ahead and go and just wait in the facility um, and kill the rest of our time in there. But I just wanted to mainly come and show you all what we have what I have and once I am finished with the blanket have all my bumblebees sewn on I'll come back and show you all the finished look of the blanket so you all have a blessed day and I will see you all soon